going out today. Hold on, let me turn off this AC. Shh. Okay, so I'm going out today. Just like seeing again here in Africa with my driver and my buddy. Now we can see maybe, maybe I'll get out of the car today. I don't know. <laughs> Depending on how I feel, I don't have a weapon with me on this trip. So not that I necessarily need one right here, but it's not. I'm not saying it's the safest, but it's not the, it's not the worst either. You know what I mean? I've been in worse places where I always do have to have a weapon and escorts with weapons and other people with weapons. Here I really don't have to do a lot of embassies. It's not that bad here. It's not that bad. So let's go see what we can get. I don't know what was going on today, but it was humid as hell and my lens was just not having it. I was just calling you. I was just calling you guys. Today I brought to Kundul. Kundul? Ah, okay, okay. Is that thing recording? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> it must have been super humid, humid out there today. My lens kept getting uh, all hu oh, you know, all humid so and shit. So now we get to the driving. And it was a pretty long drive, about 45 minutes to our destination. We saw a lot of things along the way. Cars, rivers, fruit stands, guys on motorcycles, more motorcycles, more trees, more motorcycles, my driver, more stands, more stands and stores, stands, a gas station, and then we finally turned to where we were heading to. Ooh. We're in a zoo right now. I didn't know we were going to a freaking zoo. And Chad, see some Chad animals. Chad animals. <laughs> see what they got over here. You're a wild animal. Yeah, I am a wild animal. I was totally unprepared equipment wise. I didn't have microphones, I didn't have anything. Just like my camera and my cell phone. I guess it's more than a zoo, it has like artifacts and stuff that they make. Wow, nice. Oh wow, these are all handmade artifacts of the people around here. Okay, <laughs> all right, here we go, the Crocs. Oh my god, I gotta get him. Hold on. <laughs> nice crocodile tooth over here. Look at that. Oh my god, that's nice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We're looking at him from the gate because uh, I'm not putting my camera in there again. This is their, kind of their monument to America. Let's see their Statue of Liberty. You got Dr. King, a lot of civil rights. Paperwork here, newspapers and stuff. All oh, the monkeys now, monkey. These are what, capuchas? Oh no, no. Ah. No, these are not capuchins. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, hey. You want the phone? Huh? He's like, that's Apple. <laughs> Give me a Samsung. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you can't have it, mister. What's up, big guy? What's up, big guy? He knows not to grab that. He's not, he's not dumb. I do not want to fuck with these guys. And in case you're wondering, y'all, that is not a dog. That is a hyena. Yes, as in the Lion King. Hyena. Put it there. Look. In Kenya, they come right up to the car. Them, look, them and lions compete for king of the jungle lions being of course the king but still yeah, but anything a pack of these anything that competes with a lion is badass like him
never been this close to a hyena. Yes, I understand that the goat was taking a dump as he was eating while I was filming. I get it. Now, city people don't normally do this, especially Hispanics, but when else can I pet an animal that can tear me to shreds? <laughs> oh, there you go, see? That's why you don't fuck around with nature. I can't lie, sometimes I feel like if I was an animal, I'd be this guy, right here, yeah. Check out the neck on this one, damn. Oh, we're gonna go in? <laughs> we're gonna go in. Now in film school, I learned not to get in with the gators. I had a little incident doing a little documentary in film school. So this time, I didn't go in. And I did not put my phone inside there either. I'm gonna laugh if he gets you. I'm gonna laugh if he gets you. Now my boy Gene, deadly afraid of snakes. Uh, so he wasn't in this shot. <laughs> Whatever it is, he's beautiful. His wings are clipped too. I feel bad when they do it. Yo, this is their Egyptian, uh, like their Egyptian. This is like their tribute to Egypt. They, they have different themes all over their their zoo here. So this is their Egyptian. So I saw a hyena, and how can you be in Africa without experiencing a gazelle? A gazelle. Now I've been to Africa. Chad. It's pretty creepy, but... <laughs> Bigfoot, yeah. <laughs> and I just couldn't believe this is as close to nature as you're gonna get, and the owner actually lives here with these animals. To my house. Cause this isn't the last time I'm coming to Africa. Before we before we go home next month we'll, we'll come back okay. and buy stuff. So tell tell him we'll be back. He's a man out of clay. <laughs> Seeing these artifacts on camera is one thing, but seeing them in person and seeing how these guys make them is a whole nother experience. Now we head back to our car. All right, guys, man, I'm sorry I forgot to record an outro <laughs> with this, but I got a little bit excited. I was actually a little bit dehydrated when I got in the vehicle. I needed some water, and I didn't bring any bottles of water with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I'll see you on the next smoke.